His wife is very famous, very, very well known in America. Uh, her own programs, her own books, her own TV channel. Um, and he says his wife, B has given her blessing for him and Alex to form a relationship. So let's uh, go to them live uh, in New York and say uh, good morning to both of you. Good morning, Eamon. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning. Good morning to the both of you. Um, where do we begin? Dan, one of the things that makes this different than everyone else's story is the fact that B and, to an extent, you are very well known, and therefore everybody's going to have an opinion on this, aren't they? Uh, to, to say the least, Eamon, I mean, everyone has weighed in from a moral, religious, uh, every kind of stand that you could, you could imagine. But the most important thing is that, you know, we wrote a book that was a New York Times bestseller called Before I Forget. My wife said to me, after she got the diagnosis in 2013, we walked from a, a hospital, very famous hospital, Mount Sinai here on Fifth Avenue. We walked about seven blocks. She stopped, she put her hand on my arm. I want you to go on. I don't want you to sit in a room with me and, uh, you know, not have a life and to me as we and you know most people don't even have wills but we had a conversation about that even before when we started to plan for our future uh we talked about what would we do in the what ifs what if i became incapacitated what if she became incapacitated how would we live our lives and to me it's the truest expression of love to not hold someone to something that is unreasonable for their life expectancy. But at the same time, I made a commitment and I made a vow to, to take care of her. And I do love her. But as many people who are in the club, as I say, here in America, seven out of 10 people who care for someone who has Alzheimer's or severe dementia, seven out of 10 of those people die before the person they're caring for. They predeceased right. them. Okay. And Alex, you're also a big yes. part of this story, big part of this story. And there must be a lot of pressure and judgment on you as well. It, it, do you find yourself having to explain yourself all the time? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, you know, this story has gone viral and um, there is a lot of pressure. Um, that's it's been very hard i mean there have been very hard judgments um on me you know i've that com that are completely unexpected were and completely unwarranted. unexpected and, and unwarranted. unwarranted and um yes it's it's been very rough um dan you're still caring for uh barbara or b as you call her and most people know her um explain to people um what it's like day to day to care for B um, in the stage that she's at in, in her outside well, right story. now, she, she's an amazing, beautiful woman. She is almost 70 years old. She looks like she's 40 years old. She is right now a 69-year-old toddler. When you lose the ability, when you have a, a, a neurodegenerative disease, you lose all ability to understand everything you don't know what day what week what month what year it is you don't know how to even toilet yourself you don't know how to get a glass of water everything that has to be done for her mm -hmm. i have to or or my daughter has to or alex has to initiate it so it's i i call it living in hell without the heat mm -hmm. and it's it's almost like it's almost like trying to drink water from a colander. No matter how much you try to get them to do something or how much you try to get the water to your mouth, when you get there with that, that colander, that bowl with holes in it, nothing's there. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's very frustrating. And uh, it caused me, quite honestly, Ruth, to drink too much at a point, to gain 30 pounds, to feel like I was in... I was in, in hell, and I love her, and I wanted to take care of her, which I'm doing, but when you sit in a room and you can't watch television and talk about it, 
where you can't read to the person, they're, 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 they get up and walk away. You can't turn your back and they may drink the soap in a bottle because it has a color. Uh, you, 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 you start to live symbiotically okay. their, their lives and your life starts I mean, Dan, to close and shut down. Yeah, Daniel, you are, you know, preaching to the converted here because my father had Alzheimer's and my mum looked after him for 11 years and I know day to day how Sorry. difficult that is and it's the loneliness she talked about, you know, when other people have gone home and it's in the evening when you're maybe sitting, like you said, you can't comment on a, mm. on a television programme. But Alex, I know that you're involved with health Helping look after B. Do you actually live at the house with Dan and B, or do you visit? How does that work? And how do you feel no. being part of this? Still a marriage, but obviously you and Dan now have your separate relationship. Yes. Um, no, we do not live together. I live. Uh, I live in the city, and I go out to uh, where Dan and B live. I, I visit like every other weekend, perhaps. And um, I have, uh, you know, my own little space in the house. In their house, I have a very large home that Dan actually purchased uh, with B in mind so she would have enough space she used to run away. And so he found a home that had a lot of, has a lot of indoor space as well as outdoor space that is gated so that she can't escape as she used to. And does she understand, um, Alex, who you are and the relationship that you and Dan have? Dan, have you tried to explain that to her? No, I don't. I, that's, she is beyond uh, that capability, yeah. clearly. And I think that's, that's part of the problem is that a lot of people really don't understand what Alzheimer's is. They think well, it's a uh, memory well, we, loss we, and people we, just... We've only, got, we've only got a minute left. I'm sorry to cut across you, but what we do okay. understand is that whatever this relationship, there's love all around. There's love, Alex, between you and Dan, between Dan and B, between you and B. Definitely. And, and what we can see is, however unconventional people may think it is, there's love all around, is there not? Yes, there Absolutely. is. Absolutely. And the toughest thing, as, as Ruth knows from her experience from, with her, her parents, loneliness is deadly. Yeah. Loneliness creates depression. Loneliness creates the feelings that of hopelessness that causes you to spiral into things that ultimately take you down and can actually kill you. It's a silent killer. Yeah. Guys, guys we've got to go. We've got to go. Really appreciate you sharing your story and explaining this uh, to us because so many people are in that situation and maybe they've thought about getting into That's another true. relationship or, or whatever but thank you both and every happiness yeah. to both of you and thank love you love to be as well